All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here on the Freedom Shack, and on the Freedom Table, you're seeing a whole lot of freedom. I will tell you what, man. <laughs> yeah, part of my mission in life is to put together or assemble the what, in my mind, is the perfect rifle based on certain scenarios. We have tactical, we have competition, we have DMR, we've got CQB, you've got a truck gun, you've got a travel gun, and there's just so many things out there that just, well... They will continue to go and go and go. I mean, as a matter of fact, see this guy right here? If you guys remember back, I put this together. We call this the high-speed load drag build. And if you uh, uh, were ever in the military, you know what high-speed load drag is. basically high-speed load drag. Very slim, aerodynamic, athletic. It's a mover. This guy's no different. This has got the ballistic advantage barrel on it. It runs a BCM M-lock handguard. We've got a velocity trigger. We've got a Palmetto State Armory. Uh, what do you call that? That is their titanium nitride uh, bolt carrier group. Also, well, topped off, we're running a Trigicon ACOG with ACSS reticle in it. And man, I tell you what, after 600 yards, this thing is evil. Absolutely evil. All right, we got a review coming out on the ACOG here pretty soon. Like, I can do a review on an ACOG. All right, so, yeah, this is a great handguard, by the way, for, uh, and it's economical in relationship to an upcoming build that we're getting ready to start. And it's the build is based on this guy right here. This is the PSA upper with the Geisley Mark 14 handguard, 16 inch barrel with an FN chrome line barrel. Yeah, you wanna talk about longevity, real deal, business maker, this is it. And I will tell you this, uh, it's tough to figure out what the perfect build is going down the road. And after this one, I don't know what we're going to be able to do. But uh, it's also topped off with the Gen 3. This is primary arms, uh, five times prism scope, the CSS reticle. I believe this is the Aurora. Yes, it is. This is the old one right here. This was the first guy that came out with it, man. A lot of similarities, a lot of differences in the two. But we're going to do a cross comparison of the Gen 3 and the old one and an overall review on this one because that's what we're going to put on this rifle. Uh, a lot of people have asked me five times prism scope. Is that a little much or more? Well, I'll probably end up down the road putting a little 45 degree uh, optic on the side of it, which I think would really lend this thing to being a damn near perfect firearm. Other than a low power variable optic, which is another option. It's all a national matter of personal preference. All right, what are we doing here? For God's sakes, I man, we're three minutes into this video. We're talking about this guy right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the LWRC Ultra Compact Stock Kit. This is all from the Ultra Compact Individual Weapons Project that they started a long time ago. And you can see that's a little weird looking. A little short, huh? So what we're going to do, we're going to, as a part of this whole project, now here's a cool thing. I've started a channel over on Gun Streamer. It's Code of Boy 32. which is not the tactical, it's just KB Code of Boy 32. We're going to produce the actual assembly video of this thing. So what we're going to do is you'll actually see these parts over there, uh, the same video over there, but then you're also going to see the assembly video of how I put together a lower. All right, so let's do this real quickly because I know you guys want to see this deal is this guy. Now, I was really excited about this particular part piece is because the LWRC, as part of their ultra compact program, what they did was they produced a system, and this is a buffer tube with a somewhat of a flat wire spring system and an itty bitty buffer. Now, <laughs> <laughs> That's a little itty bitty buffer. Hold on one second. We'll pull out another buffer kit that I have here. Stand by. Okay, so this is a traditional buffer right here. This, well, she's a little tight, isn't she? Let's do this. This guy with the spring, 4.8. This guy is 4.4. Pretty interesting. As well as you can see, the lengths these guys the lengths are basically almost the same there's about a quarter inch difference half inch difference between the luth ar system and this guy right here all right so let's talk about another thing we have the buffer tubes now 
Uh, my only complaint for the dollar amount that you're paying for this guy right here, I wish that they would send this out with a QD attachment point here. And for this particular build, we'll be changing that out. But for this review, we're going on with what we have. So, uh, Gaslanut, that's a heavy duty bastard right there. Let me tell you something. So let's take a look at some other things. What we have in comparison is that this is a normal size buffer tube. This is the LWRC. And from side to side, what this is thing is designed to do is to shorten your overall length of your firearm by one inch. And the original concept for this guy is I was originally trying to order something that was going to bring my length of pull with the law tactical folder down to the 13.5 or less than. And we'll probably still try that out. But this guy is actually going to go on this build. Now, let's take a real close look at this thing. You can see where it's got a little bit of an enhancement right here to help with the uh, buffer, uh, the, the carrier tilt. But I'm not sure. So one of my tests, and you guys have seen it, <laughs> is we've got it right here. Uh, what does the inside of this thing sound like? All right, so this is passing my test. That is smooth, very smooth. Ow. Has drain holes actually in here, which is good. You won't see that on other standards. Well, you've got drain holes down to this point here. But this is pretty nice. The channels are centered here and here. Now, this is a standard buffer tube. I can't remember the manufacturer of it, but it was made in the United States. And you can see the carrier tilt protection it has right here but listen to the inside of this guy you can scratch a record with that in comparison to LWRC that's awesome okay so you've got one inch shorter you've got this very very smooth tube you've got a steel uh, castle nut right here you've got a flat wire spring right here not a lot of uh, not not a lot of uh, details on what the materials were made of probably 6061 aluminum t6 aluminum here all right so let's talk about this guy right here this is the stock system this is really nice as well I like the cheek weld system you have a window here so if you were to have numbered locations on your buffer tube that would be cool we don't have that though and you can see in relation to a mil spec buffer or a stock right here you can see the differences I would have to say one of my favorite stock systems is the Veltor but you can see that this is this is a beast to this guy right here which is one of the reasons well I wanted this this is going to make for a really 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 badass firearm at the end of the day so uh, I think these things retail for about hundred and thirty one dollars at LWRC uh, I'm not sure if they carry these at any other retailers that I support but I do know that Big Daddy Unlimited has those if you want to go to kb32tac.com uh, there is a link to their membership page over there $9.99 a month uh, and I know that I paid about $30 less, a little bit more, about $33, $34 less over there than the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Another thing I want to see, is my big stickler for, is a rattle on this thing. You got a little bit of movement, not that much. Very nice. QD attachment point right there. Wrap that sling over top of it. A nice rubber pad right here got torque screws here and here drain hole in the back but that's it guys that is the lwrc this is their ultra compact uh stock kit in black they offer it also i think in a couple different colors gray as well as flat dark earth but man i tell you what if you're going for that minimalist look you can actually see the difference in the size between a mil spec and then even more, you've got this big old beast over here, the uh, Veltor. Veltor, Veltor. 
But in any case, guys, we're going to go ahead and we'll put this thing together. We're going to do some individual parts reviews before we do the assembly. And uh, then we'll eventually take this guy out to the range and see how she runs. But it, that's it. Uh, we always end them like this. Guys, if you like the video, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform who support our Constitution. It was written by our founding fathers 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. That's about it. Go to boy 32. I am out. That is a really cool look at that thing. She's tiny and I like it. I like it a lot. I'm out of here.